guys welcome back to my channel so it seriously feels like I haven't done a sit down video in forever I used to do them all the time but now that I'm doing vlogmas it's kind of hard to do both but I want to make this video before I had my baby just because I wish someone had told me before I got pregnant a list of like pregnancy essentials or things to surviving pregnancy that I would need and all of this stuff isn't absolutely necessary but in my opinion I've used every single thing that I'm about to show you every day for the past eight and a half months so if I could recommend my top products for pregnancy it would definitely be these things so if you haven't already subscribed to my channel please hit the subscribe button below and the like button if you like this video I make new videos every single week on motherhood stuff beauty lifestyle fashion things like that so yeah let's go ahead and get into the video so my very first essential is kind of obvious but this particular one wasn't as obvious to me when I first got pregnant. So when I got pregnant, we weren't trying to conceive, so I wasn't taking prenatal vitamins um, while we were trying because that's what you're supposed to do. So once I got pregnant, I rushed onto Amazon Prime and picked up, I think it was like 200 pills of the number one top rated prenatal vitamin. So I got them in the mail two days later and I started taking them. And then all of a sudden the morning sickness hit me like a ton of bricks. Um, so the idea of taking two really big horse horse pills they, they're not horse pills but they seriously look like they're for horses they were huge they just made me just the smell of them made me gag they made me nauseous and I knew I had to take especially folic acid throughout all of my trimesters so it really worried me because I was throwing up my prenatal vitamins um, they were making me sick and I was just nauseous in general so I finally found a brand that does not make me want to hurl I know TMI but that's pregnancy so this is nature's way alive prenatal vitamin with plant DHA and obviously folic acid and the reason I would recommend these two is first off they're not super expensive um, they're also available I mean at least where I live in LA they're available in most of the drugstores and also they're chewy vitamins so um, I'm not like the biggest fan of vitamins that are chewy because they usually like they just smell gross but these do not smell gross they smell like candy and they're honestly the most appealing prenatal vitamin I've tried so many different brands and I've repurchased these twice which is actually a lot in the time that I've been pregnant because you do get quite a few and yeah they have like a strawberry flavor lemon actually I think that's about it um, so yeah I'd recommend getting these because they're just like more pleasant to eat every single day since you're taking two a day so the next pregnancy essential is seriously the best gift that I've gotten throughout my entire pregnancy and my mom got it for me it's the what to expect when you're expecting fifth edition book um, this is like the number one best-selling pregnancy book it actually says that on the top and it's the number one for a reason I'm not a big book reader I honestly just Google everything I look everything up online but when you're pregnant so many crazy things can happen to you and if you've been watching my pregnancy series you'll know that I've struggled with morning sickness a hormonal rash I know it's just a lot of stuff that's happened to my body that's just gone crazy so yeah basically when you look all of that stuff online symptoms and things that can just change in your body you basically are just bombarded with a ton of different forums on the web of people giving their experiences and sometimes and most of the time the things that you're reading online are just really overwhelming and they can be kind of horrific to read so you don't really want to put yourself in that kind of mental state of reading what happens to other people so I would recommend getting this book it has answered any any question I would ever need to ask online it walks you through every single symptom and stage that you go through in your pregnancy and tells you what to do so this next essential was seriously a lifesaver during my first and the beginning of my second trimester like I said I had the worst morning sickness I swear I lost I think like eight pounds total in my first trimester which is not good but I just couldn't keep anything down it was an all-day kind of thing I wasn't just sick in the morning it was all throughout the night all throughout the day I couldn't even move I was so lethargic so any of the typical remedies for morning sickness just did not cut it for me my doctor told me to eat ginger lemon water and none of that stuff worked so basically I went online and searched on Amazon for tea that was good for morning sickness and I tried one brand didn't work this was the only tea that seriously suppressed my nausea and made it so the morning sickness was tolerable and that I wasn't impaired so this is the pink stork morning sickness solutions tea it says it's black tea ginger pieces with peach and it's caffeine free so it's obviously safe for pregnancy since it is a pregnancy tea it's not the best tasting tea in the world but at that point I seriously did not care as long as it would suppress my nausea so yeah I would recommend these online um, you get like you get 10 sachets and you can use them I think up to three times 
Oh, this seriously brings me back, like the smell of it. But anyways, so yeah, I would highly recommend this if you're battling morning sickness. So my next few pregnancy essentials are clothing items. And these aren't necessarily essentials, but they were for me. I ended up using them almost every day. So the first one has a bunch of lint on it, so I'm sorry about that. But these are maternity leggings from Motherhood Maternity. And they actually run large. So I'm normally, I would say, a medium size, but I got these in a size small and they're seriously big on me. I don't know how that happened. But um, so yeah, I would maybe try them on in the store or something like that. But you basically, they're just regular standard leggings that go all the way down to your ankle or the ones that I have. And they also have this giant like belly band. And before I got pregnant, since I am a first time mom, I seriously looked at all of the pregnancy and maternity outfits and I was like, those belly bands are so not attractive. They just, I don't know why I would ever need to get one. And then I got pregnant and started growing a stomach. And I realized that at a certain stage in your pregnancy around like the second trimester, your stomach just gets so hard at the bottom um, and just gets so big that you don't really want anything cutting off your circulation at the base of your stomach because chances are that's where your baby's head is going to be during your second and third trimester. So I didn't really feel comfortable wearing tight jeans along like, I don't know, below my belly button. So I got some maternity leggings and they have been a lifesaver, especially since I was pregnant in the fall and winter time. So yeah, I will link these below. And then the second essential I would say, depending on when you're pregnant, so you could get shorts or pants, but I got pants. These are maternity jeans, and I'm not gonna lie, maternity jeans can be expensive, and I didn't really want to invest in a ton of maternity clothing because you're really only pregnant for nine months, and a few of those months you don't really even look pregnant, you don't need pregnancy clothes, but I did end up needing jeans because it does get kind of cold in the fall and winter. And the shop that I would recommend you guys shopping at if you are pregnant is pinkblushmaternity.com. I got my baby shower um, dress from there, and also these jeans and a bunch of different sweaters and things like that. Uh, but these are the jeans. They have a giant belly band on it again, and it's just so comfortable. When you're in your third trimester, you do not want anything around your stomach um, because it just feels, you're already feeling super bloated and stuff. I think it's a nylon band. They just look like regular jeans. They have rips in the um, knees, so I think that's cute if you're into that. So the next essential is obviously some kind of stretch mark cream. I've seriously slathered myself in stretch mark cream for the past almost nine months. Um, and I've used so many different brands and I finally found two that were my absolute favorite now that I'm 39 weeks pregnant actually today. Um, so yeah, I tried so many different things and my favorite one is from Bella B and it's their tummy honey cream. It's called stretch mark fading anti itch formula. I remember when my belly started to grow around the second trimester, I started to itch myself, like itch my stomach, itch my boobs. And I was like, why am I so itchy? I'm not normally a dry skinned person. And I realized it was because your skin stretches a lot, obviously, and your boobs grow and that skin stretches. And you're really not supposed to itch yourself because that um, increases the chance of stretch marks. So this stuff really decreased the need to itch myself um, during the second trimester. Not so much now because my skin is already stretched. And honestly, have gotten hardly any stretch marks. I don't really think I've gotten any on my stomach um, that are new, but I have gotten some on my boobs. But I do like this stuff because it dries pretty quickly. It doesn't leave you sticky or tacky and it has a nice smell. It's not like super overwhelming. It just smells kind of like honey. And then the second essential I feel like is my essential all year round. This is coconut oil from Kapaluan and I will link that below, but basically organic cold pressed coconut oil. You can get any kind of coconut oil. This one's just my favorite because it doesn't curdle up and get all gross. I take my makeup off with this. I use this sometimes to shave my legs um, if my skin is feeling dry and it is also really good for stretch marks. Not to mention, I forgot to say, this is all natural and obviously coconut oil is all natural so they don't have harsh chemicals or anything like that. So my last two pregnancy essentials are definitely something that are more personal to what you like. The first one is cozy house slippers if it is the fall or winter when you're pregnant or even if it's summer I don't think it matters. I don't have mine with me but I wear them all the time and the second one is a cozy robe. I promise you you're not going to want to wear clothes like when you're in your house once your belly gets to a certain point where it's really big you're just not going to want to be constricted all the time. So I like to wear robes um, and you guys will know that if you watch my vlogs. My favorite robe is from Amazon. Well, it's from a brand called the Vermont Country Store, but I got it off Amazon, I think like two years ago, and I've worn it almost every day. Well, not every day, but I wear it a lot. So this is a little, it's perfect for Christmas too, but it's a little plaid. Well, it's not little. It actually goes down to my ankles, but it's a plaid robe or tartan. 
actually I don't know um and it's just I just washed it so it's kind of wrinkly but it is just the best flannel material it's cozy it's warm comes with a tie around the waist it has pockets which is my favorite part and yeah it's my favorite robe and it's totally been a pregnancy essential for me so that is it for this video if you guys liked it then give it a thumbs up below and make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already also go ahead and leave below in the comments if you guys think I missed out on any essentials that you like to use um, because this is my first pregnancy and I'll probably be getting pregnant again so thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video bye guys <laughs>